People often say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. For Ida Shivenis of Norway, this holds true in more than one way. Breakfast has changed her life. Her early morning artistic creations are proving a hit on the internet. This was more of a coincidence that I started to do this. And the time I had was before I went to work in the mornings. And I love breakfast. Uh, so it just happened that that was the, the opportunity that I had to, to create something else. Ida studied sociology and most recently worked for Norway's Central Statistics Office. She lets her imagination run wild on her breakfast plate. So it's both the fascination with sort of food in itself, what other people are eating, and also uh, the unexpectedness of it all, that it's sort of uh, <laughs> not uh, also not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to play with your food, but I'm saying otherwise. The artist photographs her breakfast each morning and uploads the images using the photo platform Instagram. Ida Shivenis, alias Ida Frosk, rapidly became popular. More than 150,000 users now follow the series to see what Ida's breakfast looks like. But she's not alone. From the Malaysian artist Hong Yi to the American housewife Samantha Lee, food art is all the rage on online platforms. That's the main advantage of, of doing Instagram, is that you get instant feedback uh, on what you do. I've also started a blog because uh, I wanted to, in some cases, write more, both about my inspiration and also provide some recipes, uh, both to make food art, but also just good breakfast. Ida Shivenis uses no food coloring in her work she places great importance on using the best quality products and usually eats the dishes herself. Ida gathers inspiration in the museums in her home city, Oslo. She's especially fond of the works of Edvard Munch and often reproduces them in her series, Art on Toast. That way I get to spread both my love for food and my love for art um, by making somewhat surprising versions of uh, famous artworks uh, and showing the possibilities that food ingredients really have. And this is what it looks like. Great works of art on toast. Her collection already includes 23 plates and is far from completed. Ida's online success quickly led to job offers. She now has five newspaper columns in Norway, Denmark, and Germany. A Norwegian publisher suggested a joint book project. <laughs> the good thing with Ida's project is that she's not snobbish. It's very simple. Everybody can do it. And it's uh, low key and it's, it should, it, the most important thing, it should be fun, not perfect. Ida's book has already appeared in Norwegian and is due for release in English on October 15th. Ida Shivenis has begun giving workshops. Queries come to her from all over the world. She has quit her day job and is now self-employed. I'm going to be doing food art uh, full-time for a year or so at least, um, and then we'll just see how it, what, what happens after that. I'm not, I'm just taking it uh, a day by day really. Um, this was not something I expected to happen, so it's just going with the flow. But she's already acquired quite a taste for success. <laughs> 